I went over it and it was just asking questions like if Jesus is God, then what is this? What's up with y'all? This is Yash Shalom. The Lord is peace. And we back, and I know this is not a gaming video. This is not what we used to doing. But uh, I felt wrong, and I felt this on my heart to do this, only because I haven't introduced Yah Almighty, the Most High, in the right way. You know, y'all know a little bit about me, but y'all don't know my foundation and where I come from. So we're going to get started on this in this video. And uh, if y'all don't know already, praise Yah Almighty. Subscribe, like, share, comment, and me ask questions. Do what you gotta do. Well, this is the channel. The first thing I want to tell y'all about is the whole Yashalom name. Yashalom is the Lord is peace. And I don't really say Lord or anything like that or God, because that's title, that's what people know him as or know the most high as. But I call him Yah Almighty. And uh that's the creator of all things, uh, all things to exist. Uh he's in control of everything. And uh the reason I chose Yah Shalom as being my name is because when I, you know, when I came across the Most High, it was more so in a the state I was in before knowing all of this. It was like a dark place. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't the worst place, but it wasn't somewhere I wanted to be. It was like a way to suppress everything that was going on in my life. I didn't have no like damn bad story, but you know like how you feel, how you feel in a place where you're not satisfied, you're not happy with what you're doing, and you know we all do it. We all, you know, I was hitting the club like every weekend, like so we all we all got our own way to suppress certain things or you know stop thinking about certain things. But once I put my mind and learned about the Most High, it was like that peace, that serenity. I didn't really care about everything that was going around me. And that's what, that's what he met me as, peace. Uh, I don't know if y'all familiar with the story of Moses, but when the Most High came to Moses and Moses asked him, like, what should I tell the Israel Israelites your, names are, your name is? He was like, tell them I am who I am. So, you know, you don't have to find Yah Almighty in peace. You can find them in anything. You can find them in strength. You can find them in wrath and it's a lot of things that you can find the most high is he's not limited to who you can find him as but that's just where i found him at and you know that's the name i chose for myself yashalom and a lot of the prophets in the bible they got new names from the most high after you know like he was pleased with them names like jeremiah isaiah and other names in the bible such as like obadiah like those are names of the most high like it's like he had their it's like their tag is his tag is on them and uh, i always thought that was cool you know my friend brought it to my attention and you know i i felt like that was i chose peace i chose peace because that's what he that's where he found me at and you know i love the peace that the most high gives off and i wouldn't trade it for anything because it's like it's when tim's really said like this is a piece that you cannot buy like when i say like i'm not stressing i'm not worried about anything it's just keeping your focus on the most high. It's like, that's the peaceful thing. Like everything could be going on right now. We're going through food shortages, uh, maybe a war. There's so many things like climate stuff. There's so many things that's going on. And it's like, I could care less. You know, me personally, I know everybody not the same way, but I could care less. And why is because I'm so focused on this, that all that stuff is, is minor stuff. If it happened, it happened. I'm trying to be good with the most high as best as I can. And, you know, as long as I'm good with him, I'm going to be straight. So that's why I chose Yah Shalom, the Lord is peace. That's, you know, that's where I found him at. When he says, I am who I am, you could, like, like if you need, if you need strength, he that. If you need peace, he that. If you need, <laughs> if you, whatever you need, he that. That's why I chose him as that. My, my peace. That's where my peace come from. Second thing is, when did I meet the Most High? That's always a confusing question, like a confusing question, question, uh, because when I met the Most High, I was confused. So, I met the Most High probably around like lockdown. What's that? 20, 2020? like July, but I didn't meet him in the right way. 
I met him and I was still following Jesus at the time. So, you know, I'll get into that too, because I know a lot of people question that. I know that's a lot, that's a toughy, that's a touchy subject. And, you know, I'd rather just make it clear and make it out there. It's a lot of things that I don't do, a lot of things that I don't follow. And it's not out of disrespect. You know, I, I respect everybody, but you know, this is what I do and this is what y'all do. So, you know, let's just hope we get to the same place. But uh, when I met the most, I, I still, you know, I have a Christian background. So I met him in July 2020. And uh, it's funny the way I met him, too. Because, like, I was never really a smoker. I was really a heavy drinker. And, you know, my friend, my my brother, uh, y'all know him. He, that's uh, that's, that's y'all's warrior. He, he the warrior for y'all. But my brother, he, uh, he just asked me, like, yo, you trying to smoke? And mind you, I'm not a heavy smoker, but, you know, we smoke, you know, normal talks. Like, I knew I knew my brother since first grade. And uh, we were just talking, like, yo, like, LeBron been in the, LeBron has been in the championship since we've been, like, in middle school. Like, it's crazy not seeing him, this, that, and the third. Or, like, the bu- I forget what was going on. I think it was the bubble. But, uh, and just came up, like, you know, like, it was, like, one of those questions when you high. It was, like, what about God? And I promise you, like, everything stopped. For me on my end, I don't know about <laughs> you, know, him, man. But for everything, for me, it stopped right there. Like, and I just thought, like, I haven't been to church. I haven't done anything productive for God. I haven't done anything for God and I, like, since I got a job. And that was since I was out of high school, you know, because it always felt like a forced thing, like going to church, uh, going to pray to God or do it. It felt forced. It's like, I know, I know the people that grew up in those, Christian households or those church households, y'all know what that feeling is. It felt like, you know, you have to do this. And it kind of, like, makes you resent it in the in the long run. You know, I know it's people, like, people do need, people do need God in their life. But, like, if I force it upon you, it's not going to work out. Because, it's, I mean, you either going to end up hating it or you're going to end up feeling like, I mean, you could get the right stuff. But you're going to feel like you missed out on a lot of stuff. So, you know, it's like you got to meet them. You got to meet them where you're you're at, at your level of understanding. And when I met them, you know, it was like that high moment. I'm just like, all right, dang, like, what about what about God? Or like, what 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 could I be doing for God? And I just started like reading five pages a day. I promise you. From that day on, I just started reading five, five pages a day. Was I understanding the pages? No. But then it started moving forward. It started like leveling up, like step up, step by step. Uh, led me up to my first like fast, and I fasted for seven days, uh, no food, just water, and just you know focusing on the word, focusing on anything relate relating to, to God, like listening to certain uh, sermons. And I was still following Jesus at the time. I was still celebrating Christmas, Thanksgiving, all that stuff. And I think I did the fast on Thanksgiving, so it was a lot of stuff that I missed out on, like you know. I missed out on the mac and cheese. I missed out on the turkey. I missed out on the Thanksgiving football game, too, and I love that. And, you know, it just, it broke a lot of habits that I had. It broke a lot of things that I had. And, uh, I like, from July, like, I cut out a lot of things. Like, I stopped, I stopped partying like I used to. Like, I used to be out every weekend. I stopped partying like I used to. I even cut out sex. Like, I haven't, like, I've been celebrating now since July 20, 2020. And, you know, it's, of course. Of course, of course, of course. I would love to have, I would love my, I would love to have my woman right here right now. But, you know, it was just certain things that I realized was destroying me. So, you know, I'm happy that I found him in that time that I found him. And I'm happy for the lockdown. I'm happy for the time that we got away from all the negativity and I got to actually connect and lock in with the with the most high but uh around february that year 2021 which was like last year almost you know i was talking to my friend about it and we were we you know it's a couple scriptures that led up to it but he the one that brought it to my attention and uh it's a site that i i'll link it i'll link it in the uh, in the description but it's a site that i came across well he came across and he sent it to me i went over it and it was just asking questions like, if Jesus is God, then what is this? And then what is this? And it's just like giving you scriptures. And, you know, of course, just think about it. I'm not telling you, like, go ahead, do Like, but if they are messing with the food, the water, 
If you think they can't mess with the Bible, if you think they can't trick you, you sadly mistaken, man. So once I came across this site, it was just like, you know, I didn't want to believe it. I was one of those people like, nah, it can't be true. It can't be true. Like Jesus, nah, he is. He, And, you know, like more and more stuff started adding up. I started finding about, out about Christmas. And the Christmas story is always the funniest. Like it, when I found out, when my brother put me on to what Christmas actually was, Saturnalia, I literally that night was watching the boondocks. And I used to work at 4 a.m. And I woke up. And the episode of Boondocks is which I I always put it on my, you know, YouTube anytime I talk about Christmas. And that's what Christmas is all about. You hear that boy? That's what Christmas is all about. Actually, Granddad, Christmas is a pagan holiday. And Jesus probably hates you for celebrating it. There ain't gonna be no Scrooges in this house, boy. Look, Granddad, it's clear from the scripture that Jesus was not born in winter. The shepherds who saw the angels announcing his birth would not have been out in their fields in December. The Palestinian winters are too cold, if you believe in that sort of thing. The truth is, Christmas evolved from the Roman holiday Saturnalia, a winter festival where men gave gifts to each other. They also would get drunk, have sex with each other, and beat their wives. People would act so crazy on Christmas, the holiday was outlawed by the Protestant church until the 1800s. As a matter of fact, the United States Congress Granddad? Granddad! I'm sorry, boy. What was that? I just explained the entire history of Christmas. But it was boring, Huey. You just blah, blah, gay sex, blah, blah, Congress. You know, you gotta be interesting. The episode of Boondocks, it was playing literally them talking about Saturnalia that same night. And I'm just like, nah, bro. We just talked like, and it's just like, just so many, so much stuff started adding up. The sun God worship, it all started going down and trickling down into like, dang, yo, Jesus is really not this person. Seeing that Jesus wasn't the person that he said he was, I just, you know, it was kind of hard to come out and tell people about it. Cause you know you always got that scary feeling, like yo, like even like even like I almost cried to my sister, like yo, like people not gonna like me, people aren't going to appreciate the things that I have to say because of what I'm saying and you know what I believe to be true. You know, it's like people, most people reject truth, and it can be right in front of their face, and we all do it. Like, like when I was fat, I rejected the fact that I need to stop eating as much as I should or stop eating the things that I did. So it's like, I can't, you know, I can't blame you. And the Most High is putting confusion over us. Like, if y'all didn't know it, the Most High has cursed us. The melanated people, the melanated community, the Most High has cursed us. And the biggest book I would say to read, to understand, and, you know, get to a level where it's like, oh, dang, like, he write about the Most High being good and evil. I would read Deuteronomy 28. If you read Deuteronomy 28, you understand who you are. And you understand who Yah is and what's going on right now. Everything that's happening right now, as far as the destruction of wars and everything, is it's for a reason. So I don't, you know, post too much about that stuff because I already know what's happening. You know, I might put post something funny about it. Or I might post something like just to help you think about it a little bit more. But like I said, it's Josh alone. It's, it's, I'm about peace. I'm about peace, but I'm still going to tell the truth at the end of the day. And like everything that I've read, everything that I've come across, it wasn't easy coming across this knowledge. Like with much wisdom comes much grief. So anything that I was learning, it was like, dang, like people not ready to hear this. And it's like, you know, people going to make fun of me for what I have to say what I think, and it's like, nobody wants to be in that stage, nobody wants to be at that, that level where it's like, dang, like, who do I talk to about this, and good thing I got brothers and sisters that I can talk to about it, and I always tell them too, like, even with what I follow, you don't have to follow the same thing I follow, and you don't have to, you know, do the same thing I do for the most high, but it's like, if you choose to, you know, I can help you, of course, like, I, I'm not forcing you to do anything, 
which is why they love, you know, they they love serving the Most High so much. Like, and then just seeing them learn and level up every day is is cool to me too. So you know, I I just I love this. I love this. Uh, I love this journey so far. You know, I'm still growing. I'm still coming across stuff, and uh, you know, I'm not I'm not done with the Most High. I'm not done with what he has, and I'm not done with what he has to command for us. So, you know, I'm not saying the journey is an easy journey. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying this journey is easy at all. Because you're going to come through some tests, and the most high going to test you. He definitely going he definitely gonna to put you up there at the level you at. So definitely be prepared. Definitely don't be, don't be scared. Don't reject it either. That you cannot reject the most high. If you if you reject the blue, just know you got some things coming your way. If I was to learn all this and just say, you know what, I don't want to do this. You know, I still want to eat my shrimp. I still want to eat my crabs. I still want to eat some some pork. I still want to do all the things I want to do. And you know, even with everything I know, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna just turn up and be be like Solomon. So it's 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 crazy, man. But you know, I I definitely recommend this journey for y'all. I know if y'all got any questions about why I don't believe in Jesus or what scriptures that I come across. If y'all want to have like a righteous debate, you know, if y'all want to talk about it, text me, you know, for the people that know me, if y'all want to DM me anything, I, you know, my stuff, my, my Instagram, it's all the same thing. Y'all ask Shalom, Twitter, and wherever you want to do it at, you know, I'm not here to, you know, break anybody barriers down, but I'm here. I, I just want the truth. I think that's all what we're looking for. We're looking for what's, what what happens after death? What happens after you know? What happens if the world ends? What happens, like? I just want the truth, and that's all I seek. And Yah is the truth. You find him where you find him. Like he's the truth, and that's a big that's capital letters on that big caps on truth. Like Dolo, I'm the truth. Quit playing with me, boy. So that's all I seek. I don't seek human answers. Human humans lie. I lie. You know, I don't intentionally lie, but I lie. We we humans at the end of the day. With a but a uh, breath in our nostrils, if, as the Most High says. So I trust. I trust the Most High and everything that He does. And uh, I hope that y'all, the people hearing this, hope that y'all get y'all journey started, man. And you got great things coming your way. But uh, this has been a special time, man. You know, it ain't been too long. I ain't keep y'all too long. Did not keep y'all too long. I ain't keep y'all 25 minutes. You know, I usually do that with the game. I kept y'all 10 minutes. So, hopefully y'all got something from this. And I still got to edit it, too. But I just had to take a little break from the games because I felt like I was disconnected from the most high. And I go through little stages like that, too, where I just turn off social media and everything. But uh, I hope that y'all, the ones hearing this, I hope y'all get this, man. Because the most high doesn't want to see us destroy it. But, uh... We do need discipline. So just like your father, your your mother, you come home with a bad grade or or a suspension, yeah, you already know. Go get that belt. And he gonna have to he gonna have to discipline us. It's it's a refining period. Everything happening right now is to make us better. We are set apart as his his glory, his jewelry, like his his special people. And in order to be special people, you gotta do special things. So other people can see and understand who the Most High is. But uh, I hope to see everyone in the promised land. I hope to see everybody, you know, where they supposed to be. You know, the righteous going to be righteous. The wicked going to be wicked. So I love y'all. And uh, continue to be the best you can be. Continue to find your peace. Continue to search for the truth. And this is y'all. Shalom, the Lord is peace. We out of here, man. Go find your peace today. And I forgot to mention, I was hydrated today. I had some blueberries and some water, but we out of here, man. Y'all stay safe out here.